Hello and welcome back to another 3D ROS tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to create a VHS overlay in Unreal Engine 4. So to start off with we want the VHS overlay. You can create your own or I've just searched VHS overlay on YouTube and click the first one. Uh, and then I downloaded this using the download link and I'll leave a link in the description of this video for this video. So I'm just going to import that video straight into Unreal Engine and I'm going to right click I'm going to go to media and media player I'm going to take that and press ok and I'm just going to call it mp underscore vhs so mp for media player and then vhs and then I'm just going to create it and as you can see it's been created here and it's created a media texture so if we just op open the media player and we click on this area here we'll get our VHS video playing here. So now we have that I am just going to then get a material from it. So if I just put any object in the scene and drag the texture onto the object it's going to create a material for us. I can just delete this again now. And now to display this texture I am going to create a widget so I'm just going to right click, user interface, widget blueprint. I'm just going to WBP for widget blueprint underscore VHS. And then I'm going to open that up. So with that open, I'm just going to drag our VHS material onto the blueprint, the widget blueprint and now I'm going to set the position to 0, 0 and the size to 1920 by 1080 and now I'm going to set the anchor to the center this will mean it will scale to the size of the screen and you might notice this red box in the corner under appearance brush image and just the material isn't set up correctly for this so I'm just going to change the material domain and that's just going to create the right type of material for this overlay Now to get this working in game, I'm just going to go to Blueprints, Open Level Blueprint. And now I'm going to right click, Event Begin Play. So when Event Begin Play, we want to start playing that source file. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it Media Player. And I'm going to set the variable type to Media Player and compile it and then I'm just going to add our media player from the drop down so this is a reference to the media player and on event begin play I'm just going to open source so I'll just drag this in first just so we know what we're using open source hit enter and hook that up to event begin play and the media source is going to be our VHS overlay video file and from there I'm just going to create widget this is going to overlay our widget that we've created so I'm just going to select it from the drop down list and here it is and then we're going to add widget a blue to viewport add to viewport and then compile that so that should now display our widget when we play the game but as you can see it's black so we need to fix some things in the material first So with that stopped, I'm just going to open the material. So this is the material we've got here. It looks different because we've changed it to support the widget. So with the material, I'm just going to drag out and we can drag it to the final color. I'm going to click the material node. I'm going to change it to translucent and then I'm just going to add one of the grayscale colors to the opacity that way I'm using the black as an opacity mask and now I'm going to apply and save that and now if we play we can see we have our overlay here as you can see though it is very faint and we can fix that so if we go into material and we just add multiplies I'm going to multiply the base color 
pull down S and we get a parameter. I'm just going to call it color power. I'm just going to times that by 5 to make the color more intense. And I'm going to do the same for the opacity. So hold M, left click for a multiply. Add a parameter to that. And I'm just going to do 2. I'm just going to rename this again. Opacity power. Or rather the inverse of the opacity. And compile and save that. And when we hit play, we now have this VHS overlay. So it's looking pretty cool. And if you wanted something like a night vision effect, we can easily do that in the blueprint of our widget. So I'm just going to create an extra image on top. Make sure it's on top of it in the stack, just so we know where things are. Just change the position to 0, 0 again, 1920 by 1080 again and anchor it to the center of the screen and then under color and opacity just double click and we want like a green effect hit ok and then under the drop down for alpha just got to bring that down a bit compile that and now when we play we have a green tint over everything so you can also have this to activate, so add the blueprint or destroy the, the blueprint widget on a button key press so you can bring up a camera and you can also combine this with the zoom function uh, as seen in one of my tutorials uh, to create a camera and a camera zoom. So if you want that tutorial the link will be at the end of this video and I hope you found this helpful. If you did please give it a like and subscribe, it's free. Ring the notification bell to get notified when I post a video next and I'll see you in the next one.